Welcome. Welcome back, guys, uh, to Monday Night Mondays number eight. Uh, round three, we have Nerf Juno, which is uh, Monk Yalso, Torchy, and Kruha versus Officer Earl, which will be uh, Disabled Man, Ethan, and Ukuzu. Uh, we've, we've, got, we've got one new name here, I think, for the, uh, for the majority of the uh, Omega Strikers OC cast. Yitsi, who is Ukuzu? Oh, that's some uh, confidential information, but I will divulge some uh, some tidbits. Uh, I believe Ikuzu used to be known as Thick Man, uh, and used to play very uh, <laughs> very often with, as you can probably guess, the Sailor Man. Um, yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be coming back, and they're gonna be facing off against the goats, or one of the goats, one of the many goats of teams that are playing of all time. Um, Nerf Juno, consisting of crew high in the goals, he's gonna be abusing those orbs like no tomorrow, and he will be uh, accompanied by his trusty companions Torchy and Monk Yatsu. I mean, a big reason of why I'm actually here today is to watch the. Uh... The one who wrote the Book of the Dancer back in action, back on his pick, back on his dancer. Um, we might not be able to see it this game, but I will be here for the next and the next and the next until this man gets his dancer and uh, we'll be able to see some crazy shenanigans happening. Yeah, you're in line for like the new iPhone, but instead it's just Kruha back on the dancer patch. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. He's obviously very renowned for it. I think even you know through the wider server, it's going to be interesting if they you know look to deny it from him at all costs, or if he will just take it MVP, you know, one of the sets and just take it for himself with no competition. But we're going to be seeing here. It might even be the starting awakening. Yeah, um, we are heading into Demon Dice, I believe, for the f Ooh. this uh, this game. A lot of Demon Dice today. It looks like people just don't want to play the other maps. Yeah, I guess maybe it being back in ranked rotation, some people have you know played the map a bit more now that it's not just um, relegated to customs. Um, do you think Kruha would even opt here for a dancer pick if it was available um, on a very you know violent map with very little orb spawning? Do you think he still you know goes for that? Oh, I think he's going for it every time. <laughs> Hands down, he's locks in them out of the situation. And we see the Julie and a Luna band come out respectively. Yeah, um, a, a Dubu slash Julie band coming up from Akuzu and Disabled Man here. They actually switched picks at the last second. So I think um, maybe a little bit of confusion there. Regardless though, I, I think they're happy with either band in this option, honestly. Definitely, and wow, both teams just locking their picks so swiftly. Um, but Ethan's gonna be taken off the Luna and he'll be instead on the Vice, which is, you know, another one of his signature characters. Um, we're gonna see Kruha on that Dubu, as opposed to the Kai, which Ukuzu will be picking up. And it looks like it's a Deadeye versus Spark of Focus style. Yeah, I think um, the, the Luna band makes a lot more sense now. Obviously, you, you do not want a Luna with Deadeye um, playing on Demon Dice as the, as the starting awakening. Uh, two quick barriers for both teams here. Disabled Man's a little bit low here. Let's see what Akuzu can do. I'm very excited to see how this man plays oh as I've, I, I've never really seen um, how he plays here. Yeah, I've only seen him myself in the last Monday Night Monday, but I do believe he's a pretty um, established goalie in uh, another region in uh, Southeast Asia. And um, looks like Nerf Juno are going to be looking for aggression on the lot, this first point here. Kruha pushing very far up, and oh. unfortunately, Ethan, he has a great try getting that with the ulti, but it does go the opposite direction into the top corner. Yeah, absolutely. That is the trademark aggression from Kruha, the, the one that pretty much convinced every other goalie in the server to be like, hey, you should walk up, ignore defense. Um, <laughs> honestly, yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm quite interested to see how well um, Officer Earl can hold up against Nerf Juno here. Nerf Juno probably probably one of the strongest teams in the tournament so far. Um, naturally being rivaled by the, uh, the, 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 the goblins, the egg goblins, I have no idea what the name actually is. <laughs> egg fox, respectfully. Egg fox, respectfully. And, oh, Miss Barrage coming through for Akuzu, gonna be losing the barrier, but, you know, uh, we have to save man on the sidelines, he's back now, trying to push it out with the secondary, they're just not able to do it. This is, you know, this is a very hard map to be versing before Juru of Monk and Torchion. Deem Days, very damage-focused map, uh, very oh. damage coordination, it's very important, and, he just bounces it off the bottom to get it in the bottom corner. Cruz is not able to connect with the Giga Blast. Torchy threading the needle with 
massive judge. Just finding the gap between Ethan and Akuzu, um, that was just, I mean, we all know how Torchy is when he gets the ball. He's just so onto it, so precise. Um, a nice little ulti by Kruha actually locks out Disabled Man, and you can't elusive through that wall anymore, unless it was fixed in the last patch, which I, I doubt it has. Uh, unfortunately, Monk just uh, outspeeding Akuzu there, being able to strike for him as he redirects on the other side. Disabled Man continuing pressure and doing the exact same thing on the other side. Mm, great ult by Ethan. Yeah, absolutely. Both forwards low here. Uh, Torchy using the special to try and get a strike wall through Akuzu. Akuzu responding with the primary. Monk's a little bit low here, has to be very careful about avoiding damage. Thankfully, that man has reflexes of a cat and um, just dodges everything. And uh, Torchy Monk playing together. Gets the barrier, we'll see what they can do here. Kruha walking up, Torchy with the uh, Kruha going all the way into the enemy base. Uh, does not get punished, does not get punished. Yeah, and just um, chasing very far here for the KO. Monk trusting the threshold, not even using one of his evades. Uh, Ethan's gonna have flip, looks like there's gonna be three flips coming out very shortly from the side of Ethan, Saber Man, and Ikuzu. Yeah, Monk nice defending by Ikuzu. Ethan. Two used on the side, both to negate offensive abilities. Saberman still holding his, but Monk also farmed it by now. Torchy rotating out, and another third wasted flip. It is so tragic to see. Oh, Monk's Torchy's regen back up yeah. with the orb too, and Monk, yeah, cherry picking with the flip. Is Kenny? Oh, he doesn't even need oh, no. it. Wow, that is that is rough. That is rough. Off the repulsor, you know, it's an unexpected bounce. This map hasn't been in rotation for very long. Maybe not expecting that. And we do see Kruha first pick. Oh, please pick it. Please let us see it. Don't take prime time. Don't be boring like that. Is he gonna pick it? He's gonna oh, pick he's it. Gonna. So we, we're seeing the dancer very, very early into the cycle. We'll uh, we'll see how that develops here. Ariel's sure. being taken by the Kai to boost up the speed there, which leaves uh, Super Surge open. Kai leaving the Super Surge, maybe hoping that if he does take Super Surge, Ethan would have the heavy impact free to pick up on the Vice, but you can see good awakenings on just about every character, but I would be quaking my boots at the side of Torchy with Super Surge just early in the game. Man, I think every single person got an awakening they desperately wanted there. Um, Rasmus getting the size, Aero with Monyo is huge on this map, and then just uh, Kai getting Aerial is just looking to play the uh, the game with the speed. The yeah, I mean, just it's, it's Torchy on Zentaro. He's, he's, he's the combo master. Nice little redirect by Torchy getting that first barrier. We'll see what they can, uh, more pressure they can do with a 2v3. Oh. Uh, sorry, I mean 1v3. Akuzu really struggling to hang on here. Rasmus coming in, unfortunately not, not quick enough to save the barrier. We'll see what a Kruha monk can do here to get the core to Torchy Great Great patience. Patience. Oh my. Oh. He's cooked him off the barrier, off the bumper, sorry. Puts yeah. him bottom corner, Kruzi not able to get it with the eject button. He's just running circles around him. This is very rough. The uh, the fall is just lacking out on damage. Leads to uh, lives being lost and barriers being taken. Yeah, interestingly enough here, Monk actually picked up the Deadeye on the starting awakening. I'm just noticing this now. Um, patch with the new damage hot threshold. <laughs> we'll get the effect off of the primary as well. What is going and, on? Wow, Monk is going to be pushing back into goals now that Kruha has an orb and Torchy is just comboing people left, right, and center. But... Kruha is just. The, the, the win or loss of the game is no longer important to him. His, his goal is to get 10 orbs. <laughs> yeah, he's going to pick up those little, those little green things on the map and go for the funny strolls. That is what is important. Oh wow, they're looking to strike back here. They've actually got their barrier still alive. Kruha's on the ropes, but he does have flip. Saberman getting very low now. You know, damage coming out. It's really building out with that super surge. Saberman, oh, oh. manages to dodge the combo. He doesn't actually get pushed out by the ulti, surprisingly, but the secondary will push him out. Ethan trying to defend with the flip now. Monk, pretty low. No evade either. Nice little Kruha strike wall by Torchy to secure the second barrier. We'll see what Monk and Torchy can do here. Oh, Torchy? Oh. Yes, he's okay, he's okay, he's okay. He's just waiting for the bait. Oh, oh no. my god, what a pass into wow. the confirmed by Torchy. That was magical. Just a rocket and Torchy just dashing it on in. And Kuzi unfortunately could not get back to his eject button. The disabled man could not react to that dash in time. Still level two on the Rasmus. Level two. Man, he's been getting denied. He he has just hit level three, so I think it's all right. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Kruha positioning to take the orb here. Unfortunately, the... <laughs> hmm. Kruha looking for orb over barrier. There, it's all tactical. He's built up to seven stacks now. Three more before he hits God mode and starts zooming around the map. But look, it just feels like you know a small drop in compared to the the raging ocean that is uh, Nerf Juno. 
Yeah, absolutely. You can just see just skills are being cycled. Better Torchy almost getting taken out by his own Duba Wall. Um, Torchy's actually taking a fair bit of damage here and Ooh, does disappear with the, uh, with the Deadeye Rasmus, just uh, ulti just snaking it in. And, and of course the ulti is uh, a little bit more consistent now with the Deadeye buffs. Uh, we'll see uh, Kuzan unfortunately unable to push out against this arrow. I mean, his Torchy just comes back for free. They manage to take a barrier here, and Kruha just clears it out the other side, grabs an orb, which is, you know, the most important thing in the game. Uh, and we'll... Uh... Is Ethan going to die here? Oh, he just gets Ooh. rolled. <laughs> Kruha pushing forward, but Torchy will do what he cannot, and he will put Ethan out on the sidelines for another 10 seconds. Absolutely, and I Kruha, think a, a little bit of a roll of that all. Here he comes! Yep. Monk's playing back for him while he's got that orb. He wants to go for a walk and he's got flipped to take the barrier. He doesn't even need it. He's gonna rotate back now that the speed boost is out. Looking for an angle to get this out for Kuzu. Kruha back in time. Uses the flip though. That's a good flip burn. Torchy couldn't get the secondary. Great try though. Going for the bottom corner. Disabled man trying to weave it out. Great passes to get it out. Kruha with no evade. If they can get a pendulum swing on him, not able to connect. Kuzu on goal line now with flip. He doesn't go back to the jack button. So close. A great try. But yeah, you know, at least they got a point in that one. Second set going to be going to the side of Nerf Juno. Every single one of Torchy's dashes or ultis have just been so on point this game. I wonder what awakening he's going to go for. Probably oh, just surely the PF, off. right? Yeah, I, th I think so. I think so. Yeah, a lot, a lot of actually, a lot of good awakenings. There. Oh, they're not going to deny the second Which... stack of orbs. Yeah, it's going to be in fact taking stacks rather than even stagger swagger. That could prove to be a fatal mistake. But Kai going to pick up the CTL to deny error, and stagger swagger going to be taking on the vice. That's a very big pickup. Uh, but error will oh, Monk getting his hands on fighter flight. That sounds scary. Double double uh, slick kicks basically for Monk. Very very scary. I think while uh, every every single one of uh, Officer Earl's picks are good here, I, I think that uh, Nerf Juno, every single oh, one of them no. just got the absolute biss. And uh, you can really just see that happen here. Perfect Forms and Tara is going to cycle so many more abilities than before. He doesn't even have to elusive of that. He just heals back up enough with the wand. And Kruha just playing so far up. He is just going <laughs> in. Look at him go. He is in there all over everything and it pays off. You know, we're just seeing the same man pick up the stacks, but I really don't think he's going to be able to build too many of them. He doesn't have the survivability. And speaking of survivability, Torchy is going to be taking out the goalie and that'll be a roller. Mung just taking two of his barriers says, you know what, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Torchy's gonna get the gold anyway. Let's just uh let's just sit back, pass it to him. Yeah, just really, really uh definitive play. I think um while this is expected, uh I actually think that um Officer Earl is putting up a decent fight. I do too. You see some great plays there, you know, disabled man getting some some key kills and you know they are taking a lot of barriers. Maybe that is also due to the fact that, you know, uh Nerf Juno playing so aggressively. But, you know, a good opportunity here. Monk on the sidelines. You know, can they make it count? They can, they get the barrier. Monk's still down for three, but ooh, disabled man getting put down by Torchy. Torchy's still got more abilities though. He's just gonna he's gonna keep pushing this on towards their barrier. Kruha now pushing up a great ult. Ethan oh. comboed into death, tornado into the corner and pushed back down to the side. Kruzu doing a great job defending here. Great synergy from a save man and Kruzu keeping that one out. They can't do it forever. Ethan's back in two, however. Torchy with a flip, putting it top to Monk. Monk bakes out the barrage. They don't have much enough now on Kruzu. Torchy with passive. He's ready to go. Kruha getting the he's orb. He's got the dancer. He's got the dancer. He's killing. Yeah, he's just zooming around. He's got the cooldown reset with the ponder now. Torchy, great. Oh, a great Giga Boss. Doesn't go in though. Disabled man looking for the... Oh, hey, he does. What a great bounce of the pendulum swing. You can really see how quick they just turned up the heat there. Um, just the uh, added mobility from Castle Last, Stacks on Stacks, and Sw Stagger Swagger just giving them a win con. Hey, you've got orbs, that's fine. We'll just all move fast. And uh, yeah. just avoiding a lot of damage there as well. Just staying, being able to stay alive in the middle of the game like that just really opens up a lot of opportunities there. Uh, really, really close moment for Disabled Man there. Luckily, gets the elusive out of the air ulti. And um, they lose a barrier, getting pressured onto the other side. A big oh. swing by the Rasmus. A great hook. We're just not able to connect with the barrier. And now we're going to be down the other end lose that one instead some great passes but Kruha doesn't fall for it 
Drew's looking slightly stranded here. There's a tornado too. He just oh. can't do anything. Game point. For I mean, that was that was a perfect tornado by Monk there. Just nothing you can do in that situation. Especially, it's it's, it's so difficult when it's Monu as well, and just it's just twice as big. For sure, it just seemed to build so quickly as well. Just up in that corner, right in the face of the goalie, had nowhere to get it out. And yeah, they're going to be fighting for their their. Uh, He's their waiting. Round He's here. got it. <laughs> he comes through. Uh, He's pushing he up. It doesn't He's matter. got another He's one. He can recycle. Oh. oh, oh! He's going for a kill on the enemy goalie. What a madman! Cruz trying to play yeah. out of the damage. He just yeah, can't do it though. Didn't work out. We'll see what they can do with the damage here. Nice hook by Disabled Man actually gets the rebound and uh, oh. connects to the barrier. But Torchy does get the kill on the Kai. The two uh, forwards are out of position. Oh, is this it? It's just Ethan. They're going to wait. He gets a save. This might be a little bit of BM behavior. But Cruz is up in two. Maybe they're going to make him pay for the BM, but they just can't do it. Torchy ults into the bottom corner. A great <laughs> attempt. Yeah. Uh, un unfortunate but expected 0-3 uh, to the side of Nerf Juno here. Just... Oh my goodness, I'm so happy this man is back, and I'm so happy this man has his orbs. It's just such a beautiful sight to see, and a beautiful sight to cast as well. Uh, sure we'll just okay. see here how many uh, orbs he got. No, never mind, I skipped over the screen. I will not be able to see how many orbs he got. 26 will be the orb count for Kuru. 26. Um, second closest being Monk and Kuzu, both tied at 14. But yeah, I guess uh, having the core on the other uh, side so often made giving the liberty to you know walk around and pick up all the orbs and zoom in, get lots of redirects, put a lot of those um, offensive duper alters, which are so important in keeping it trapped behind the dais. And yeah, you know, a great effort from uh, the same man Kuzu and Ethan, but they just couldn't, couldn't cinch it out versus the, uh, the chads, the chads of Nerf Juno. Yeah, Nerf Juno really just showing um, what 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 the first seed is supposed to be. Getting quick three O's back to back. Um, yeah, I mean Kruha, Monk, and Torchy. These are these are all everyone's heard of these names. Everyone knows the terrors of what these guys can individually do, let alone as a team. Um, yeah, just a really really quick decisive game on their half. Anyway, uh, we're gonna take a short break, and when the stream comes back. I will not be here. Instead, the uh, stream will be blessed with the uh, the gamers of Two Gomp. Blessed or cursed, you name it. But we'll see you in the next round. <laughs> 